India is one of the countries with the largest production of energy from renewable sources. In the electricity sector, renewable energy excluding large hydro accounted for 20% of the total installed power capacity, 71.325 gigawatts as of the 30th of June 2018. Large hydro installed capacity was 45.29 gigawatts as of the 31st of March 2018, contributing to 13% of the total power capacity. Unlike most countries, India does not count large hydro power while accounting for renewable energy targets as it comes under the older Ministry of Power instead of Ministry of New and Renewable Energy. Thus, renewable energy including large-scale hydro power currently adds up to more than 33% of the total installed power capacity in India. Wind power capacity was 34,046 megawatts as of the 31st of March 2018, making India the fourth largest wind power producer in the world. The country has a strong manufacturing base in wind power with 20 manufacturers of 53 different wind turbine models of international quality up to 3 MW in size with exports to Europe, the USA and other countries. Wind or solar PV paired with 4-hour battery storage systems is already cost competitive, without subsidy, as a source of dispatchable generation compared with new coal and new gas plants in India. The government target of installing 20 gigawatts of solar power by 2022 was achieved four years ahead of schedule in January 2018, through both solar parks as well as rooftop solar panels. India has set a new target of achieving 100 gigawatts of solar power by 2022. Four of the top seven largest solar parks worldwide are in India including the second largest solar park in the world at Kanal, Andhra Pradesh, with a capacity of 1,000 MW. The world's largest solar power plant, Badla Solar Park is being constructed in Rajasthan with a capacity of 2,255 MW and is expected to be completed by the end of 2018. Biomass power from biomass combustion, biomass gasification and bagasse co-generation reached 8.3 gigawatts installed capacity as of 31 March 2018. Family type biogas plants reached 3.98 million. Renewable energy in India comes under the purview of the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy MNRE. India was the first country in the world to set up a Ministry of Non-Conventional Energy Resources, in the early 1980s. Solar Energy Corporation of India is responsible for the development of solar energy industry in India. Hydroelectricity is administered separately by the Ministry of Power and not included in MNRE targets. India is running one of the largest and most ambitious renewable capacity expansion programs in the world. Newer renewable electricity sources are projected to grow massively by nearer term 2022 targets, including a more than doubling of India's large wind power capacity and an almost 15-fold increase in solar power from April 2016 levels. Such ambitious targets would place India among the world leaders in renewable energy use and place India at the center of its sunshine countries. International Solar Alliance project promoting the growth and development of solar power internationally to over 120 countries. India set a target of achieving 40% of its total electricity generation from non-fossil fuel sources by 2030, as stated in its intended nationally determined contribution statement in the Paris Agreement. A blueprint draft published by Central Electricity Authority projects that 57% of the total electricity capacity will be from renewable sources by 2027. In the 2027 forecasts, India aims to have a renewable energy installed capacity of 275 gigawatts, in addition to 72 gigawatts of hydro energy, 15 gigawatts of nuclear energy and nearly 100 gigawatts from other zero emission sources. Topic. Renewable energy overview and targets The 2022 electrical power targets include achieving 227 gigawatts earlier 175 gigawatts of energy from renewable sources, nearly 113 gigawatts through solar power, 66 gigawatts from wind power, 10 gigawatts from biomass power, 5 gigawatts from small hydro and 31 gigawatts from floating solar and offshore wind power. The bidding process for the further additional 115 gigawatts or thereabouts to meet these targets of installed capacity from January 2018 levels will be completed by the end of 2019-2020. The government has announced that no new coal-based capacity addition is required beyond the 50 gigawatts under different stages of construction likely to come online between 2017 and 2022.
Topic: <laughs> Grid connected renewable electricity. Asterisk the target is given for biopower, which includes biomass power and waste to power generation. The figures above refer to newer and fast developing renewable energy sources and are managed by the Ministry for New and Renewable Energy MNRE. In addition as of the 31st of March 2018 India had 45.29 gigawatts of installed large hydro capacity which comes under the ambit of Ministry of Power. In terms of meeting its ambitious 2022 targets as of the 31st of March 2017 wind power was more than halfway towards its goal whilst solar power was below 13% of its highly ambitious target although expansion is expected to be dramatic in the near future bioenergy was at just above 80% mark whilst small hydro power was already 85% of the way to meet its target Overall India was at 33% towards meeting its 2022 renewable installed power capacity target of 175 gigawatts. The total breakdown of installed grid connected capacity from all sources including large hydro was as follows. The fast growing renewable energy sources under the responsibility of the Ministry for New and Renewable Energy exceeded the installed capacity of large hydro installations. This figure is targeted to reach 175 gigawatts by 2022. Coal power currently represents the largest share of installed capacity at just under 197 gigawatts. Total installed capacity as of the 31st of May 2016 for grid connected power in India stood at a little under 344 gigawatts. Topic: <laughs> Off-grid renewable energy. Topic. Renewable electricity generation Total renewable energy which includes large hydro with pumped storage generation, is nearly 17.5% of total utility electricity generation in India during the year 2017-18. Solar, wind and run of the river hydro being must run power generation and environment friendly, base load coal-fired power is transforming into load following power generation. In addition, renewable peaking hydro power capacity also caters peak load demand on daily basis. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Hydroelectric power. India is the seventh largest producer of hydroelectric power in the world. As of the 30th of April 2017, India's installed utility scale hydroelectric capacity was 44,594 MW, or 13.5% of its total utility power generation capacity. Additional smaller hydroelectric power units with a total capacity of 4,380 MW, 1.3% of its total utility power generation capacity have been installed. Small hydropower comes under the ambit of the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy MNRE, whilst large hydro comes under the ambit of Ministry of Power. <inaudible> <inaudible> Wind power The development of wind power in India began in the 1990s, and has significantly increased in the last few years. Although a relative newcomer to the wind industry compared with Denmark or the US, domestic policy support for wind power has led India to become the country with the fourth largest installed wind power capacity in the world. As of the 30th of June 2018, the installed capacity of wind power in India was 34,293 megawatts, mainly spread across Tamil Nadu, 7,269.50 megawatts, Maharashtra, 4,100.40 megawatts, Gujarat, 3,454. 0.30 megawatts Rajasthan 2784.90 megawatts Karnataka 2318.20 megawatts Andhra Pradesh 746.20 megawatts and Madhya Pradesh 423.40 megawatts wind power accounts for 10% of India's total installed power capacity India has set an ambitious target to generate 60,000 megawatts of electricity from wind power by 2022. The Indian government's Ministry of New and Renewable Energy announced a new wind solar hybrid policy in May 2018. This means that the same piece of land will be used to house both wind farms and solar panels. Some of India's largest wind farms are Topic: Solar power 
India is densely populated and has high solar insulation, an ideal combination for using solar power in India. Announced in November 2009, the Government of India proposed to launch its Jawaharlal Nehru National Solar Mission under the National Action Plan on Climate Change. The program was inaugurated by former Prime Minister Manmohan Singh on of January 2010 with a target of 20 GW grid capacity by 2022 as well as 2 GW off-grid installations. This target was later increased to 100 GW by the same date under the Narendra Modi government in the 2015 Union Budget of India. Achieving this national solar mission target would establish India in its ambition to be a global leader in solar power generation. The mission aims to achieve grid parity electricity delivered at the same cost and quality as that delivered on the grid by 2022. The national solar mission is also promoted and known by its more colloquial name of Solar India. The earlier objectives of the mission were to install 1000 megawatts of power by 2013 and cover 20 times 10 to the 6 square meters, 220 times 10 to the 6 square feet with collectors by the end of the final phase of the mission in 2022. On the 30th of November 2015, the Prime Minister of India Narendra Modi and the Prime Minister of France François Hollande launched the International Solar Alliance. The ISA is an alliance of 121 solar rich countries lying partially or fully between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. Corn, a number of countries outside of this area are also involved with the organization. The ISA aims to promote and develop solar power amongst its members and has the objective of mobilizing $1 trillion of investment by 2030. Much of the country does not have an electrical grid, so one of the first applications of solar power was for water pumping, to begin replacing India's 4 to 5 million diesel powered water pumps, each consuming about 3.5 kilowatts, and off grid lighting. Some large projects have been proposed, and a 35,000 square kilometers (14,000 square miles) area of the Thar Desert has been set aside for solar power projects, sufficient to generate 700 to 2,100 gigawatts. Solar power in India has been growing at a rate of 113% YOY and now dropped to around 4 rupees and 34 paise (6.0 US) per kilowatt hour, which is around 18% lower than the average price for electricity generated by coal-fired plants. As part of India's ambitious solar program, the central government has set up a 350 million dollars fund and the Yes Bank will loan 5 billion dollars to finance solar projects. See January 2018. India is also the home to the world's first and only 100% solar-powered airport, located at Kochi, Kerala. India also has a wholly 100% solar-powered railway station in Gafati, Assam. India's first and the largest floating solar power plant was constructed at Banashura Sagar Reservoir in Wayanad, Kerala. The Indian Solar Loan Programme, supported by the United Nations Environment Programme, has won the prestigious Energy Globe World Award for Sustainability for helping to establish a consumer financing programme for solar home power systems. Over the span of three years more than 16,000 solar home systems have been financed through 2,000 bank branches, particularly in rural areas of South India where the electricity grid does not yet extend. Launched in 2003, the Indian Solar Loan Programme was a four-year partnership between UNEP, the UNEP Rizzo Centre, and two of India's largest banks, the Kanara Bank and Syndicate Bank. Biomass. <inaudible> 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 India is an ideal environment for biomass production given its tropical location and abundant sunshine and rains. The country's vast agricultural potential provides huge agro residues which can be used to meet energy needs, both in heat and power applications. According to IREDA, biomass is capable of supplementing the coal to the tune of about 260 million tonnes. Saving of about Rs. 250 billion, every year. It is estimated that the potential for biomass energy in India includes 16,000 megawatts from biomass energy and a further 3,500 megawatts from bagasse cogeneration. Biomass materials that can be used for power generation include bagasse, rice husk, straw, cotton stalk, coconut shells, soya husk, de-oiled cakes, coffee waste, jute wastes, and groundnut shells and saw dust. Biogas 
In 2018, India has set target to produce 15 million tonnes of biogas, bio-CNG by installing 5,000 large-scale commercial-type biogas plants which can produce daily 12.5 tonnes of bio-CNG by each plant. The rejected organic solids from biogas plants can be used after torrefaction in the existing coal-fired plants to reduce coal consumption. Bioprotein Synthetic methane SNG generated using electricity from carbon-neutral renewable power or bio-CNG can be used to produce protein-rich feed for cattle, poultry and fish economically by cultivating Methylococcus capsulatus bacteria culture with tiny land and water footprint. The carbon dioxide gas produced as by-product from these bioprotein plants can be recycled in the generation of SNG. Similarly, oxygen gas produced as by-product from the electrolysis of water and the methanation process can be consumed in the cultivation of bacteria culture. With these integrated plants, the abundant renewable power potential in India can be converted into high-value food products without any water pollution or greenhouse gas GHG emissions for achieving food security at a faster pace with lesser people deployment in agriculture, animal husbandry sector. Topic Biofuel Topic Ethanol Ethanol market penetration reached its highest figure of a three point three per cent blend rate in India in twenty sixteen. It is produced from sugarcane molasses and partly from grains and can be blended with gasoline. Sugarcane or sugarcane juice may not be used for the production of ethanol in India. Biodiesel The market for biodiesel remains at an early stage in India with the country achieving a minimal blend rate with diesel of 0.001% in 2016. Initially development was focused on the Jatrifa plant as the most suitable indedible oilseed for biodiesel production. Development of biodiesel from Jatrifa has met a number of agronomic and economic restraints and attention is now moving towards other feedstock technologies which utilize used cooking oils, other unusable oil fractions, animal fat and inedible oils. <laughs> Waste to energy. Every year, about 55 million tons of municipal solid waste MSW and 38 billion litres of sewage are generated in the urban areas of India. In addition, large quantities of solid and liquid wastes are generated by industries. Waste generation in India is expected to increase rapidly in the future. As more people migrate to urban areas and as incomes increase, consumption levels are likely to rise, as are rates of waste generation. It is estimated that the amount of waste generated in India will increase at a per capita rate of approximately 1 to 1.33% annually. This has significant impacts on the amount of land that is and will be needed for disposal, economic costs of collecting and transporting waste, and the environmental consequences of increased MSW generation levels. India has had a long involvement with anaerobic digestion and biogas technologies. Waste water treatment plants in the country have been established which produce renewable energy from sewage gas. However, there is still significant untapped potential. Also wastes from the distillery sector are on some sites converted into biogas to run in a gas engine to generate on-site power. Prominent companies in the waste to energy sector include A2Z Group of Companies Hanya Biotech Energies Ramki Enviro Engineers Limited Hitachi Zosan India Private Limited Clark Energy ORS Group See also <laughs>